in the ground. There were nearly 3,000 anti-Semitic incidents in the United States in 2021 alone. This information is according to Jonathan Greenblatt, former White House Special Assistant to Barack Obama, Director of the Office of Social Innovation and Civic Participation, and current CEO of the Anti-Defamation League in an anti-defamation organization press release published in April of 2022. Everyone in this room understands the importance of religious freedom. As Americans, we have the right to decide whether or not to follow religion and which religion to follow. The United States has a significant anti-Semitism problem. First, I will share the terrible story of the Tree of Life Synagogue Massacre. Then, I will discuss the statistics of increasing anti-Semitism in the United States. Finally, I will reveal how white supremacist groups have spread their hateful message nationwide. The Tree of Life Synagogue Massacre was a devastating blow to the Jewish community. According to Campbell Robertson, a national correspondent and journalist published in the New York Times in October 2018, Bowers, the assailant, shot into the congregation of Jews, killing 11 and injuring several others. This attack was notable as it was a, as it was a targeted attack against the Jewish community. The assailant shot into the congregation shouting anti-Semitic slurs. Robert Jones, who had been with the FBI for 22 years, said it was the most horrific crime scene he had ever witnessed. Jews were brutally murdered by a gunman targeting them specifically because they, of their faith. This attack is representative of a growing issue in the United States. Social media has become a tremendous means for people like Bowers. He was known as a hateful anti-Semite who had posted anti-Semitic views on social media. This attack was severely damaging to the Jewish community. Hundreds gathered to pray for the dead and wounded following the shooting. The story exemplifies a fraction of the hit the Jewish community is, is facing. Let us now look at the rising statistics of anti-Semitism in the United States. Statistics show that anti-Semitism has reached this century's all-time high. More people believe anti-Semitic tropes than did in 2019. A study of 4,000 people, representative of the American population, found that 85% of Americans believe one or more anti-Jewish trope. This is compared to 61% in 2019. The same study found that 40% of Americans believe that Israel treats Palestinians as Nazis did Jews. This is an extremely insulting comparison as situations are completely unparalleled. Statistics also show that in 2021, anti-Semitism in the United States reached an all-time high. There were 2,717 incidents of harassment, assault, and vandalism against the Jewish community, equating to approximately seven or more instances per day. This significant rise in violence can be traced to the Israel and Hamas conflict of May 2021. Compared to May of 2020, there was a 148% increase in anti-Semitic hate crimes. Aside from the spike in violence caused by the Israel and Hamas conflict, this, these harrowing statistics are primarily due to growing white supremacist groups in the United States. Finally, I will explain how white supremacist ideology has impacted the Jewish community. White supremacist groups have been and are still going to great lengths to, to spread their hateful message nationwide. According to Sergio Olmos, a journalist specializing in the f coverage of far-right media in America, in the National Public Journal, published March 2023, these white nationalist groups look to stay away from pedestrians and police. Therefore, projecting these images of Kanye is right about the Jews, and images of the cross and swastika are ways these groups have sought to gain traction. Social media is another tremendous tool for these organizations. According to Josh Nunez, a white supremacist extremist group leader in Florida said, what we're really going for is putting the information on social media and pushing it around and putting it into the public arena. You will also recall that Bowers, the synagogue shooter, was a staunch white nationalist whose social media was filled with anti-Semitic slurs and conspiracies. The United States government, among other organizations, recognizes the detriment that these white nationalist groups pose to the Jewish community. The Anti-Defamation League says that there's 
and unprecedented coordination of white nationalists in Florida. And in 2021, the Department of Homeland Security designated white nationalists as the most significant domestic threat the United States faces. Initially, I covered the devastating story of the Tree of Life synagogue shooting. Then, I discussed the statistics of increasing anti-Semitism in the United States. And finally, I revealed how white supremacist organizations have become critical players in the growing anti-Semitic attitude of the United States. Anti-Semitism is a grave problem in the United States. It is sparked by willful ignorance. With nearly 3,000 anti-Semitic incidents in the United States alone, we can tell that we have a problem. Regardless of one's religious affiliation, it is critical to the security of our nation to stand against anti-Semites.